Sorry, Prof. The connection was very poor. Can you repeat it? You said as. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. So I, I was just saying that um, I give you an opportunity to submit both the assignments together since you have not submitted the first assignment because time is a factor now and we are moving towards the end almost because we have finished four chapters. So you can submit your first assignment along with the second assignment just this time. So that means on the 7th of March, by the 7th of March, you take your time and you complete your first assignment as well as a second assignment. Is that okay? Yeah, it is okay. Yes, it's yes. enough time. Thank you for yes. the very thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you very, very much. much. Yeah. And I have one question for the lecture. Please go ahead. Yeah. And in the subtitle, which says housing and poverty alleviation, so that I want to know for the alleviation. Yeah. Uh, in this, what is it stand for? Okay, you are asking like, what is the connection between poverty and housing alleviation? Yeah, alleviation. I, I want to understand more clear about this alleviation. Okay, good. See, poverty elevation now. We have further on, we have studied in even the other slides saying that how governments have schemes. You understand? Because housing is a basic necessity. So what governments also do, some governments in some parts of the world, without taking the names of any country for that matter, they go to the extent of providing just loans to people Okay, it's a good question that you asked so that I can tell you more details on that. That's how those countries are advanced. What they do is, which is just not my observation, but is also a kind of a study and I have like, I already know these things are happening. What they do is they provide loans to their people at low rate of interest. The government does it through the banks. In what way? The government gives a kind of a circular to the banks saying that you will have to support the locals or the local youth. Everyone in the region has to have their own houses. So they give subsidized uh, at subsidized interest rates, at low interest rates, loans. And after that, they give them a longer duration to pay it back. So naturally, when you have a lifetime to pay it back, you take a huge sum of money and you build a normal house. So a government plays a very important role in lifting the standard of people by giving them basic housing. Now, all of us want to live in a secured environment or a basic shelter. We need basic shelter. For that, we need the help of governments, right? Of our government. Now, some part of the world, some a particular country or group of countries, you know, a particular regional region, you know, they deal with the problem of poverty in this manner by giving them good housing, loans, and so on. As some other countries, what they do is they acquire land, divide them into plots, and sell it to the people at subsidized rates and give them an opportunity to pay the installments. So that means if you're having basic shelter, that means your, your standard of living is a little bit increased. Apart from that, you have employment opportunities. So if you have a good housing, that means your health is ensured. You know that you are living in, you will maintain your house. You live in a clean environment. You live in an environment how you want to live. You've got housing support from the government. 
naturally it gives you a sense of you know security so you have this uh, you know um there is a sense of psychological well being which again will give you physiological well being and that's how it's related to you know uh, related to you know alleviation of poverty as well as you know lifting the standard of living of people that's how housing and health is connected housing and poverty alleviation is connected for all these governments play a very important role and um, if you want to advise a government there are policy makers and then they we have went on to uh, discuss about what is good governance so urban areas are in need of good governance and good governance is characterized by sustainability and including people's participation credibility then answerability that is they are governments are answerability or accountability so when governments have to uh, you know reply to the people of why things are not happening or if things have happened or if they have devised some policies why it is so i want to say so this is participative uh governance where people also participate in the it's like a democratic setup so that's what we are trying to say so that's how to just to answer your question the before housing and health is connected naturally it gives well being if you if, if any person or a family has their own house not just the own house if it's government provided you know through policies you know they provide a good housing so that means it contributes to the health and also contributes to the well being in some parts of the world they have directly uh, you know categorized housing schemes as um, low income group middle income group or high income group like hig mig and lig so where you know they build housing and they say that if you if you can afford with the employment you have to purchase this okay give me the proof that you are working in so and so place and this is your this one they take your bank transactions okay you belong to this category fine so these are the houses that are available it's not a question of categorization it's a question of every human being on this earth is entitled to protect themselves not just from environmental factors from also the other social elements and therefore they are required to have proper housing with basic facilities of clean water sanitation and so on so that would certainly help in poverty alleviation because poverty is multi dimensional it is not just economical factor it is not just a financial factor but it is also with respect to other revolving factors such as you have education you have security and so on uh, any question any more question or Yeah. No, no, thank you, thank you, Barhof. Uh, no question. What about you, Nadifa? No, no, no question. When uh, thank you, then now it is very clear, and uh, you have get uh, enough on a uh, clarification. Okay, my pleasure. And uh, please feel free to ask me any time. You can email me as well, and you can also send me WhatsApp. uh but of course even if i delay in replying but surely i will be replying to you that you can be assured of okay yeah again we can we thank you for the extension you have given us and we try our best and all the students i hope they uh, they they will will be happy for that extension so that thank you again my pleasure and uh, you're welcome and god bless you in your efforts now and i believe you will do your best okay thank you very much welcome. see you again inshallah amen see you see you next class okay inshallah okay bye 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 bye